Hey, I'm Josh Gadboys, and today I want to talk to you about five tips on how to not get ripped off by a contractor. How do I protect myself as a consumer and making sure I make the right decision when it comes to hiring a contractor? Okay, first step to help you not get ripped off, ask for some actual references of places they've worked. Uh, look around, see if they have some names they can give you some numbers. You know, anybody that we've asked is a reference. There's no, the whole, my clients like their privacy, that doesn't exist, right? And we can pretty much look up anybody anywhere on the internet if we really want to dig. So a good contractor, if they have good relationships with their clients, will be willing to give you names and numbers, places you can call, check out, figure out who they've done work for, and really get the story on what was behind them doing the work. Okay, step two, as far as not getting ripped off from a contractor, do not give them most of all the money up front. Uh, we've actually had clients ask us, do I pay you mostly in full on the front end? Absolutely not. Uh, in Massachusetts, for example, we only can get as much as a third down, uh, which is typically what we do get. But when we do that with our clients, we, we typically start ordering materials, filing permits, setting the job up, helping them pick their things out and purchasing those things. So whoever you work with, make sure that it's on the scope that they're going to be doing those things for you. And be very, very careful if there's a lot more than a third or a half up front. If they're looking for way more money than that, that's kind of a red flag. Okay, step three, make sure that the contractor doing your renovations is filing a permit. We hear all the time the whole... <laughs> tale of, oh, it's not structural, so I don't need a permit. If you've ever heard a contractor say that to you, throw up the red flag right away. There is a reason they're saying that. Uh, in Massachusetts, for example, you need an HIC and a CSL, and uh, the town will not accept any permit application without those two items and also proper insurance. Step four, avoid a lack of clarity. And what we mean by this is ask them about schedule, ask them about their scope of work, ask them who's going to be working in the house. Uh, we've heard from clients before, hey, uh, I really curious, um, do I have to get my own subcontractors? And as a residential firm, it doesn't make sense to have the client go find their own subcontractors. A good contractor who has good relationships will also have those built relationships with their subcontractor teams where they can have the same people working in and out through their home. And it's the same people, so you don't have to go yourself. The GC comes in, does labor, and then, for example, you're going to find an electrician or a plumber. That doesn't make sense. Make sure they have these teams in place. And step five, ask the contractor for their copies of their insurance. Uh, we don't get this request a lot personally, but uh, a good contractor, if they have employees, has to, in the state of Mass, have workers' comp insurance. Uh, so whoever's working on your home, and their subcontractors have to as well. So whoever's working on their home, you really want to make sure that whoever, if someone were to get hurt or injured in your home, it's not going to fall on your homeowner's policy. You want to make sure the contractor has their own policies to back that up and make sure you're covered. Because at the end of the day, you're hiring them uh, for a service and the ease of that service. So you don't want to be getting into any legal stuff because the contractor doesn't have the proper insurances. Okay, that just about wraps up our video. I'm Josh Gadboys, and I'm here giving you five tips to not get screwed from your contractor. And if you have any questions or if you get that red flag or gut feeling that doesn't feel right, just email me, josh at renovistaconstruction.com. I am in no way a legal expert, but happy to answer those questions to see if something doesn't feel quite right or make sense. Uh, if you like our content, please hit the subscribe button below, and we look forward to seeing you again. I'm Josh Gadboy signing out.